Hey, so we're going to run through four super easy and quick methods to generate reviews on Amazon. This is a question we're getting asked quite a lot um, on the site. So I just thought I'd run through what we do um, for clients and just what a lot of people who own their own FBA businesses can do as well. It's not the most difficult thing in the world. I'll cover some of the more, I guess, creepy tactics that we've seen people use and we have used in some circumstances. They're a lot easier to do if you sell a business to business product, so B2B rather than B2C. Um, the reasons behind that will become clear in a second. So the first one is inside the package, obviously, this isn't the most creative in the world, have a call to action to leave a review. Now, the way you do these, they're pretty simple. You can either have a little sort of a leaflet style thing, but there needs to be some, I'm not gonna use the word incentive because Amazon is so against incentivized reviews, but there needs to be something to make the person actually take action on it, on the call to action. If you're asking them to leave a review just to go out of their way and leave a review on Amazon, it's usually not gonna happen. Um, if you say something around getting a discounted product next time, or even about sending them to the site, those things are, well, sending them to a website is against Amazon's terms of service, obviously. If they're not purchasing through Amazon and they're purchasing through the site, then you might get pinged for that. We've, obviously, you've probably received products from Amazon that have had that and they've never been caught. But if you're trying to be ultra, ultra careful, I wouldn't recommend that. So instead have something that's unique and interesting and we'll get them to either buy another product, so a synergistic product if you have more than one, or to repeat the purchase and then at a discounted rate. Those are two obvious ones to use. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a shout. The second one we use is a software called Feedback Wiz. I've done an in-depth video on this, you can see on the channel. Um, we do have a decent relationship with them, so we got half off for anyone who signs up through the affiliate link. If anyone's interested, that's in the description. Um, basically this company is going to help or this software is going to help you generate reviews just from automated review sort of monitoring. So they'll send an ebook who has product. As a result, you will have a slightly increased sort of percentage in the number of people who purchase your product and actually leave a review. This does also leave, you know, if the product sucks, they're going to be notified to leave a review and you will get a, a likelihood of a negative review, but you'll also get notified when these things happen, which is super, super important. Because if you want to get a negative review removed, it's either super time consuming or super expensive to use third party services. But if you contact the purchaser or the customer within say two to four hours after leaving that review, you're going to have a, a whole lot higher chance of actually, you know, getting that review removed than you would if you leave it you know, a day or even a week. The customer's turned off, they're not interested, they've sort of done what you wanna do. Where if you say, hey, this was a genuine mistake, we're really sorry, or even get on the phone, people underestimate this, which I'll get onto in a second. Um, but even just get on the phone, it works so, so well, okay? Um, next, there's another couple of methods that we use as well. I'm gonna just hop into the screen share because they're easier to explain within the screen share itself. So this next method is a little bit cheeky. Um, but it's something that we really like. So what you can do is you can view a product that is sold by a different seller. So let's say one of our competitors is this Kate Blanche Cosmetics and they sell this almond oil. If we sell a product that's synergistic or similar, what we can do is we can go to the reviews and we can have a look at either the one, two, three star reviews. So let's say we go onto the one star and we can see um, this Josie Weist person has left a review um, and we can actually see their profile. Now, the interesting thing is we can actually see all their activity. So we can see if they've left other reviews. So you can see, um, see full review. For example, they're showing us only one here, um, even though they're saying two, it's a bit annoying. This, for example, if we have a look at this, she's left a review on here as well. Um, essentially, we wanna find people that leave a lot of reviews. Um, sorry. Let me ignore that for a second. And we want to actually just go and find those people. So for example, this is where I said this is a bit creepy um, because you know essentially you're contacting people, you're taking their information out. Um, usually it's super easy to do because this is social media. Um, but essentially if you find someone's name, you just Google their name and then say Twitter, for example. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna see lots of times their Twitter coming up. 
um, if they have obviously a unique one. So for example, you can see the sunglasses that this individual actually reviewed are coming through in the feed and it's not difficult to find their information. Now, the reason why I don't like this is obviously it's creepy, but you can actually reach out to this person and say, hey, we saw your review on Amazon for this almond oil. Would you like to try ours either for free or we can send you a review package if you're happy to review it. Okay, again, slightly black hat, but does work incredibly well. There's another method that works really, really well. That is more the business to business element. Now, this to give you a brief overview is essentially where you have orders come through that are businesses ordering your product. Now, for example, those will have specific elements. So if we say um, office supplies, for example, a lot of people buying this, if you're in these industries, are obviously going to be businesses. And when you have to send a VAT receipt or sales tax receipt, um, you can see the name of the business that they essentially will be having. So if we have a look, we can see LLC. Obviously, there's no example here, but a lot of the times we're going to see an LLC inside an order. So when that happens, all you need to do is Google the business's name and you'll find the contact information of the company. So for example, let's say our, um, we just make up a name that's probably gonna be Simple Houseware LLC. For example, we've just made this up, but obviously we've got this company here and we can see they got an element on LinkedIn. So instantly, if we just go to LinkedIn and once it finishes loading, we are likely gonna have lots of information about this company. We can obviously go into website we can even go to people okay so there's no employees so you just find the person that you're looking for and message them to say hey thanks a lot for purchasing we'd really appreciate a review and then you can message them directly not through amazon again this isn't advised because there are some sort of creepy elements to this um, but if it's business to business it works a lot lot better and again, we're not recommending any of this. It's just what works. We're not going to talk about the same old crap when it comes to reviews because it's just not good enough. Um, again, this company doesn't seem like it's very large because their website sucks. But if we come back, we can have a look. We'll try this one. So we've got this I buy am. We can Google it there. And the problem is if you contact them through Amazon, um, obviously you can contact somebody. So if somebody purchased a product from this company here, we would see that they, the purchaser this is, the customer, has a business, you know, that's called, let's just say this, out of interest, with an LLC on the end. Problem is that if we just contact them through Amazon, it just doesn't work as well. Um, so for example, we'll just take this. I know this isn't the actual company, but if we Google something like this, we can find a lot of information about the company, contact them directly, and even in a lot of cases, there's gonna be a contact uh, phone number um, or a direct email. So this is gonna work a lot better than just contacting them through Amazon. And again, be careful with this, but what we found is about a 400% increase in reviews that stick, okay? So that's just a few ideas to get your sort of brain working. There are loads and loads of terms and conditions and terms of service around this, so do be careful, but just get creative. And if you have any questions or other ideas, feel free to give me a shout and we'll do a part two of this video.